Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the default save location of Microsoft Word to be within Dropbox. So you can do this in pretty much any version of Word. I have a Microsoft Word 2013 installed on this computer here that I'm using. And I also have some screenshots for another version. I'm not 100% sure what version I, I generated the screenshots from at the time because it wasn't done like recently. But I believe it's 2003 or 2008 if I'm not mistaken. One of those earlier versions, whichever one was the most popular until people started upgrading, I think it was 2003. But I, don't quote me on that. I, I think that's where it was. So once you have lo uh, Word loaded on your account on your screen, go ahead and click on File, File, and then go down to Options and choose uh, Save under the left end menu options and you have a few different options here that you can use to save uh, it's up to you if you want to change any of these but to be honest with you the only one that really matters is this one right here it's the default file location so right now it's currently set to D Drive Shannon uh, documents because that's where I have my documents uh, set up to save to so I actually the way that I have this particular computer set up is I have the uh, documents folder that Windows has uh, normally on C drive. I've moved that to D drive because D drive is the one that has the, all the space on it. Uh, so in, with that uh, being said, I have everything gets saved there automatically. So I'm not actually using Dropbox at the moment to save my Word documents. Now, I did use it in the past, and I probably will use it again in, in the future. It's just this particular computer I'm not doing it at the moment. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set it up that way. And I still have my Dropbox set up, so it should be really easy to do. So like I said, the default local file location is where uh, Word will automatically save any files unless you choose otherwise. So if you want this to be saved in, in Dropbox, all you have to do is click on Browse. Then click on Dropbox. I'll gray out all of this stuff because this is my personal Dropbox. This is not the one I'm using, but no worries. Then for in my particular case, I have a folder called My Documents. And I have a folder called Microsoft. And in there, I have a folder called Word Documents or Word Docs. So this is where I would choose to save it. So if I go and click OK, now you see that... Uh, my Dropbox is now, or my uh, default file location is now D Drive, Dropbox, My Documents, Microsoft, Word Documents. Now, for you, this anything past Dropbox is whatever you're going to create for a folder. You more, yours might just say Dropbox, My Word Documents, for example. Anything, it's, this is all dependent on how you do it. I set it up similar to my documents, so I have mine set up as my documents, then a Microsoft folder, and then Word documents. I just like to th keep things organized that way. Once you do that, go ahead and click OK, and then that'll be saved. And any future document you create in Word will automatically get saved in this Dropbox folder. And, as I've mentioned in the past, the benefit of doing that is that anytime you're working on a Word document and then you go ahead and save it, it will save in Dropbox, and then Dropbox will upload that to the server. And then you can go ahead and work some more and save again, and once again, Dropbox will go ahead and save that, and then it will upload to the server. But, as I mentioned in other videos, Dropbox also keeps a version history. So if you make a mistake and then save that mistake, and that mistake gets uploaded to Dropbox's server, you can easily just go online to Dropbox, or even just go into your Dropbox folder, and go into version history and restore a previous version from before, from the last time that you saved, but before you made a mistake. So it's very easy to get back a file that you overridden by mistake with uh, with something you didn't want to save. So this is a great way to not only make sure that your stuff you're working on in Word is backed up, but it'll also to make sure you can get previous copies of that fall if you mess something up and save it. So this is how you go ahead and do it in this version of Windows.
pretty much all versions is is the same. So once you find figure out how to do it in one, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out in another. And like I mentioned before, I do have a, some screenshots for an older version. So I'll just walk you through those as well. It's basically the same process. So um, in this version of uh, Word, you would click on this little icon they created in the corner and then go ahead and click on Word. Oh, sorry, Word Options. Then in the uh, menu, go ahead and click on Save. And then you got the default fall location, which is the exact same thing we just did. You go ahead and click on Browse. Then you go ahead and find your uh, Dropbox folder, which was under Dropbox, My Documents, Microsoft, Word Documents. And then go ahead and click OK. And now you see that same thing. You got, uh, it's been updated to uh, your Dropbox folder and go ahead and click OK and that's it. So it's, it's basically the identical process that's for that older version of Windows and a newer version of Word, sorry, not Windows. So both of those pretty much did it identical, identically. So I would say any version of Word that you have will probably be very similar. So that's it. That's how you go ahead and change the default fall location of Microsoft Word into uh, Dropbox so that any document you're working on is automatically handled by Dropbox and synced and version history is handled. Like I've said before, if you want to have all of your documents for everything, like your, your default Windows, not Microsoft uh, Word or anything, your default Windows uh, My Documents folder in Dropbox, you can do that too. That's actually a video I'm going to be creating and releasing in, uh, in the next little wall. Uh, but that's just as easy. The only downfall of that is that if you have the free version of Dropbox, then you have two gigs free. Obviously, that may not be enough. So start small. Start with just Word. And then if you want to change your entire My Documents over, you could do that in the future, and you can upgrade your Dropbox as needed. So I don't want to ramble on anymore. I know I've uh, wasted a lot of time on this video. But I hope you found this uh, to be useful. If you have any questions, go in the comment below. And I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.